In the last video, we talked about plate carrier comm setups, and you saw my ad hoc budget radio set up using a shoulder mic and an aux cord to tie into a regular set of electronic earmuffs. Now it's time to reconfigure my plate carrier to use a real headset with a boom mic wired into the radio through a push to talk button. There are several brands and styles of push to talk, and I'm going to compare three of the cheaper options that are compatible with Baofangs. All of these are U94 Nexus style push to talks. The Armor Works, the Disco 32, and the Croatian made ones you can find on eBay periodically. Depending on the headset and radio you're using, you have to be sure you get the right push to talk. I have Baofang radios which use the same two pin plugs as Kenwood radios. My headset is an MSA Sordon with a single boom mic and a TP120 NATO down lead. This is a low impedance military style headset, so in order to use it with a high impedance civilian radio like a Baofang, I need to use amplified push to talks. First up is the Croatian, which may not actually be amplified. When I've tried using it, I get very poor audio quality that sounds like an impedance mismatch. This PTT has a fairly soft button and a nice alligator clip. It's narrow, it has good tension, and it has rubberized jaws. The Croatian U94 has black screw hardware and it also has a very long straight down lead. This one may just be faulty or it may not actually be an amplified push to talk. If it actually worked it would be a pretty good option, although there would be a lot of excess cable length caused by that down lead. Up next is the amplified version of the Armorworks U94. The Armorworks PTT has a very soft button with a weak feeling click. It does have a good alligator clip, basically the same exact design as the Croatian one. However, for some reason this one has silver screw hardware. I'm not really a fan of that, although I'm sure you could just paint the screws black. The Armorworks PTT has an extremely long pigtail down lead. It's hard to route, kind of bulky, and since the PTT isn't supposed to move or stretch, the pigtail seems pretty pointless to me. I tested the Armorworks PTT for a solid afternoon and couldn't get the plug to make reliable contact with the radio. If it got slightly bumped, it would just stop working, and not even taping it into place would keep it in contact. I'll see if I can get it replaced, but I probably won't use it because of the weirdly long pigtail. Last is the Disco 32, which is the PTT that my buddy uses on his carrier and the one that I'm using on the Faro. This one has a stiff transmit button with a very solid click. It's unlikely that you would activate this one accidentally. The Disco 32 has the shortest down lead. It's the same style as the Croatian one, but a little bit shorter, which makes it easier to route. Unfortunately, the clip on the Disco 32 is pretty bad. It doesn't have very strong tension, and it doesn't have rubber coating on the jaws. It's also too wide to fit through most PTT retainer loops. However, the clip is oriented perpendicular to the line of the cable, which is the superior orientation, at least for the Slickster. The Disco 32 PTT has black screw hardware, although they are slot-headed screws instead of Phillips. So now it's time for episode 63 of Pharaoh Slickster Problems. I can't use the alligator clips from the Armorworks PTT because it's oriented the wrong way. I can't use the alligator clip from the Disco 32 PTT because it's too big to fit in the loops. I can't use the Pharaoh Shock Cord PTT retainer because it would orient the PTT the wrong way again. I don't want the push to talk to be horizontal because it creates a lot of excess cable bulk sticking out to either side and it's also more awkward to try to key the mic. I have it jury-rigged right now using a Ferro Bungee PTT retainer at a strange angle in the laser cut vertical slot, in conjunction with one of the Velcro cable ties in the slot below. The clips on all of these push-to-talks are removable, and as far as I can tell they're also interchangeable. Since I have it running through a Velcro cable tie and a bungee retainer, I don't need the clip at all. It's not great, but it should work for now, and it does orient the PTT with the button facing sideways rather than up or down. One way to solve this routing problem would be to get a Ferro Concepts Molly admin panel and run the PTT through one of the horizontal Molly loops. That's another 30 bucks. It adds weight and bulk to the carrier and would prevent me from wearing my epic morale patches, and all because I need one loop of horizontal Molly. I'm really not sure why they made the carrier this way. It seems like a really bad idea. Since I switched from the Mayflower Quad Placard over to a Ferro Adapt KTAR, I've lost one magazine and all of my medical supplies on the carrier. I'll compensate for the loss by stuffing some medical supplies and an extra magazine into the cummerbund slots on the right side of the carrier. Now we have a pretty decent carrier setup, and it only cost me about 50% more than an equivalent JPC. Okay, I'm going to stop spending money on this now. All right, let's wrap this up with a quick audio comparison. I stuck one of my radios out in the truck, put a camera on it, and then proceeded to broadcast the same short message using all of the different PTTs as well as with the comm mount and shoulder mic. Disco 32 PTT, test one, two, test one, two. Armor Works PTT, test one, two, test one, two. Comm mount and shoulder mic. Test 
Test one, two. Best audio quality is definitely with the Calm Mountain shoulder mic. The Peltors may have better audio quality than the Sordans. We'll have to test that at another time. As far as the PTTs themselves go, clearly there is something wrong with the Croatian one. I'm not sure if it's an impedance mismatch or if that thing's just completely hooped. Between Disco 32 and Armorworks, I think I'd give the nod slightly to Disco 32, but it's kind of hard to tell. All radio transmissions in this video were done under the supervision of a licensed ham operator and or in Minecraft. Thanks for watching. See you next time.